Hey creators, it's me, Miss Vicki, here live on the set of Spontaneous Creations here in Winthrop, Massachusetts. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that Spontaneous Creations is for entertainment purposes only. That means just watching. Yes. <laughs> Please do not try any of the art activities or challenges or that is what projects at home, okay? And besides, all of those things should be supervised by an adult anyways. Okay, so just watch. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Welcome back for another episode of Spontaneous Creations. I'm so glad you're here today. Hey, wait a minute, do you hear that? I think it's Moon Dragon here to deliver today's clue for that is what? Take apart. Hi, Moon Dragon. Hi, Vicki. How are you? I'm so glad you're here today. What do you have for us? I have a delivery for you. You do? What do you have today? Well, I'm not sure what it is, but whatever it is, it's making me sneeze. Why? Would you like a tissue? I have one in my back pocket. Oh, yes, please. Uh, oops. Oh, oops. It's okay. Oh, thanks, Vicky. I think you better take me in. Absolutely. Thanks, Moon Dragon. Well, I think I better go. I have more deliveries to do. Bye, Moon Dragon. See you next week. Can't wait to see what's inside. Can you? Wow, I just noticed something. Look. When I turn the egg, I can see something sticking out, but I still don't know what the clue is for today's take apart. Are you ready to find out? Why don't you count down with me from home? Three, two, one, let's get cracking. Whoa! Oh, wow! Of course, spools of thread. There you have it. Today's That Is What project and Spontaneous Creations Challenge has something to do with spools of thread. Still don't know what it is, but we'll find out. Let's go. <laughs> sewing machine, you were right. Good job. On today's episode of Spontaneous Creations, we have a sewing challenge. Our creators will be making a mechanical monster. How cool is that, right? Stitched together out of reclaimed parts of old stuffed animals. The maximum point any challenger can get today is 12 points. If we have a tie, well, we'll have to have a tiebreaker, a sew-off. That's right. I'm your host, Miss Vicki, and our spontaneous challenge starts now. Let's meet our competitors. 
Hi, makers. Welcome to Spontaneous Creations. I hear that you guys are two of the best sewers in town. I'm so glad you're here today, and we're going to put those good sewing skills to work. On my right, we have Joy. Let's find out a little bit about Joy. Hi, Joy. My name is Joy. I like to dance a lot, and during my free time, I read and listen to music. Awesome. Thank you for sharing with us. And on my left, we have Eliza. Eliza, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Eliza. I like crafting and reading. And are you two ready to get started? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Up next, our makers will take a short challenge to see who gets to decide what mechanism they will choose first. Hey, makers. All right, remember, today you're making movable monsters, so you're going to need some mechanisms to make your creations move. What happens to be great is I took apart and deconstructed some animals over the weekend and took out their mechanisms, added batteries, and we're set to go. The first item is an open and closed peekaboo machine. The second is a bouncing up and down machine. The third is a rotating musical armature. In order to decide who gets to go first, I thought we could start with this mini challenge. The winner will receive one point and choose their mechanism first. So on the count of three, you'll have as long as you need to thread a needle and tie a knot. Are you ready to take the challenge? Yes. Three, two, one, go! Okay, Eliza, looks like you won the first challenge. Are you ready to get started with the next part? Yes. Let's go. I don't think the, the, the thing. Okay, you can take it. Take it. And Joy, which one do you want? Uh, this one. All right, creators, the next part is to choose your head and body of your animals. Are you, you're gonna have 60 seconds to do that. Up next, you're gonna choose the parts that you will be making your mechanical monster with. These are the heads and the bodies. Choose carefully, because remember, you'll want your mechanism to work with your animal. Make sure your mechanism will fit inside the monster. Just remember, you can't choose a body and a head that look alike or belong together. All right, Joy, you'll get to choose first. You're gonna have 60 seconds to do that. Go. Oh gosh, these are all so It's an owl. Oh, this is cute. Oh, that fit. Look like it. It'll fit. Yes, I want to use that. Eliza, are you ready? You get to yes. choose next. On your mark, get set, go. And stop. Okay. Looks like our challengers are ready to get sewing. There's one thing I didn't tell them. They're gonna have to turn their animals inside out. Let's see how they respond to that. There's one more thing I didn't tell you. Sorry. You're gonna have to turn these parts inside out. What? They wouldn't be monstery without that. So, no. five, There's four, three, two, one. The first person to turn it inside out gets a point. Done. All right, Joy, you get a point. So far, we have a tie. One, one. <laughs> All right, guys, I thought we'd get out the easels and maybe start by drawing a little plan. Do you guys want to do that? That sounds really good. OK, Joy, what's your plan? Um, my plan is to uh, give him feathers, like a big tail in the back, and um, maybe some cute ears. I think I might do a design on its belly because it's kind of big and open there and I want to do something there. Great idea. Eliza, how about you? What's your plan? Um, my plan is to give it wings with feathers and some ears and maybe some a big tail with um, scrap material. Excellent. You have 60 minutes to stuff and sew your mechanical monster together. You can use any of the items on the cart and on the table and in these mystery boxes I'm about to give you. Remember, you can leave a space so that you can turn your monster on. Are you ready to begin? Well, you might be wondering how you're gonna attach everything. So you do have some tape, but all your items on the head to the body have to be sewn together. So I got you each a special sewing kit that you can use to attach your animals and monsters together. Sound good? Yes. Let's oh, get started. Nice. Go. This is really nice. Look at all this. Ooh, wire too. Such a great selection! <laughs> Ooh, sparkly. This is so sparkly, see? 
so I'm the gold color. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, okay. I have so much stuff. I want to use something with a thick eye because it's embroidery floss and embroidery floss has this kind of hard to thread. You can also separate it. I know, but that takes extra time. And we're just gonna see it right there. Oh, I'm sorry, she. Yes, sorry for you. <laughs> you are a lot better at this than I am. But my owl looks sort of creepy. <laughs> It has like bottle cap eyes with like, yeah. you know those bicycle things that like cover up the, yeah, the air? The, yeah, yeah, the bicycle caps. It looks like, it looks like <laughs> bottle caps with bicycle caps on it. Yeah. All over my thread! <laughs> I'm just stitching my, my Is this supposed to go <laughs> all the way over? I didn't know that, you see. I thought it was like, like a stand or something. Oh. No, it goes all the way around. So It'll be fine. Does it stand up? It say. stands up! Yay! Oh, I need more of the stuffing. Don't mix your stitches. It doesn't work. Don't learn from my mistakes. Well, actually, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Okay, which color do you think I should do? Two, uh, two sets of them are the same, so. <laughs> These two? Yeah. I'm just gonna use one though. Which one? Oh, this one. Okay. It looks like blood. <laughs> <laughs> Eliza! <laughs> <laughs> you are completely ruining this. <laughs> You're right though, it does look like blood. <laughs> I know. It looks like dried blood. This thing. <laughs> 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 I feel so bad for this shit. <laughs> okay. Ow. Did you poke yourself? Yeah. Well, that's oh, what now you do. I'm sticking to the Velcro. Where's the needle? Oh, never lose your needle. Yeah, that's a good, good lesson. Yeah, good lesson to, to be. If you're gonna take anything from this, never lose your needle, because then you could like sit on it or something, and that, that hurts. Hurt. Have you done that Because I've done that before. I have. Yeah, I know. Once I know. I stapled my finger. Oof. Yeah, it hurt. I have never done that. A lot. I have a lot of stories from people who've done that, but I've never done that. Can you use the needle setter? Yep. Thanks. Here you go. I broke mine, as you know. I know that you broke yours. I know, that's why I'm telling you again. Okay, so what color should I put the head on with? I'm thinking like green. green. Yeah. <laughs> great minds think alike. <laughs> green mind. Great minds also. Green minds. Yeah, <laughs> great minds also like to use the same color. Green. green. There's stuffing floating everywhere. I know, right? I feel like it's gonna...
Let's look. Aww, how'd you do that? Just cut I have slits to sew and then mine. You don't have to, you just Oh, you just it. cut slits. Yeah. Where's my scissors? Here they are. <laughs> so creepy, I love it. Let's try mine. Like it? Oh, cute. That's so nice. Let's see. And these donkey ears. That could be weird. Probably. That works. No, I want colorful. Ooh, yes. Are these like frog ears or something? It is really cute. Do frogs have ears? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think they do, they just don't have sticky outy ears like most animals. Yes, I just said sticky outy ears. I wonder how much time I have. I don't know. Probably like, I don't know. Probably like five minutes. Maybe like three. <laughs> Maybe like one minute. Because I just never argue. Yeah, I guess that's true. Never, ever, ever. Can I use this needle? Yeah. Cool. I need it. You just have a normal shape. Kind of. I mean, it does have wings and okay, that looks gonna cute. have frog ears. I'm just gonna draw. I'm just gonna like draw. No, since I completely forgot how to uh, make a I'm just gonna do it the normal way. The normal way? What's the normal way? Like this. Like an actual knot? Like a normal knot. Because okay. I forgot how to do any other way. This is. Doesn't have creature. ears yet, but. There we go. I didn't give mine ears yet. Neither have I. I'm gonna run the They're gonna be green. Oh, Let's um, see how this works. Well, it worked on one ear, on one eye. Let's see. One eye? Oh, oh, the eye. It's eye. <laughs> okay, so it worked on one of them. Let's see. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get it ears now. Oh, elephant ears. Is that elephant? Are these elephant ears? Okay, Looks like it. Where's the other one? You could have pig slash zebra ears. What are ears? Oh, that's cute. They're yeah. like, um, that's why I was like asking you if frogs have ears. Cause I, they I look like frogs have ears. Yeah, uh, they look like frog ears, I don't know, but they don't actually. actually have what ears. What could they have been used for in the actual animals? Um, Cause I don't see any animals under that shade of green. <laughs> True. What about like, like they're, Eat. Oh, possibly. One ear attached. Do you like it? Instead, I think I'm going to embroider something cute. Okay. Like maybe a heart. Ugh, I need a tail. Look at my plan. Maybe I'll make a like, glitter glue tail. That'd be cool. I added too. <coughs> but I added wings. So, heh. There we go. Oh no. It's a floating ear. <laughs> Down you go. Oh. Okay. Okay. These are supposed to be demented, right? I don't know. I mean, they are supposed hey, to be monsters. Looks cute. My ear doesn't. Well, kind of does. I don't know. Does it look cute, Joy? Sort of. Okay, that one.
You are? No, I'm not. I'm done attaching You're my You're done with your search It looks like it's sleeping. I thought I'm gonna change that. That's what I'm doing. Big eyes staring to the depths of your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Animals are coming out pretty cute, aren't they? A little too cute. You ready to pizzazz things up? Let's go. Wow, guys. These look fabulous. How was the process? It pretty was good. That's literally. It was uh, good, but and on the table. And intense. OK. Well, we have one problem. You see, we're at a tie, one, one. I think we're going to have to break that tie. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes to have an opportunity to gain as many points as possible. Okay. And your mini monsters look too adorable. We have to really make them a little bit more monstery. So. How was that adorable? <laughs> it's so adorable. Oh my goodness, look at that. So let's clear the table and I'll tell you about the next part of our challenge. Okay guys, here's some parts from today's That Is What project. A sewing machine. There's 10 pieces in each of your tins. You have 10 minutes to sew on as many pieces as you can. You get one point for each piece. On your mark, get set, go. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Well, they're all really small. Yeah, but it just matters how many. I suppose it's quantity, not quality. <gasps> it's the little cell effect. What? I don't know what that is. It is knotted. It is not. Oh, it's not more because we cut off the knot. Oh, God. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, I need to commit a bigger knot. Six. 
did like actually, I just put three and then these three are all attached together. It has a horn on its back and it has a thing on its forehead, which I don't know what it is. My thing has a lot of horns. job creators so here comes the um the moment of figuring out who won are you ready yes okay let's start with joy joy how many did you attach three three items plus your one point from before makes four yes so you have four points and eliza how many did you attach seven seven plus your one point from before makes eight so today's competition winner Congratulations. <laughs> Aww. Um, but nobody loses in my book because you're going to both walk away with a little prize today. So I'm going to go get that. All right, They're creators. They're beautiful. You're both winners in my book. Yay. So to keep creative, I thought I would give you each a gift certificate. <gasps> So you can go so buy whatever products you yes. want to be creative. Yes. And I got some friends for your stuff. Oh so you guys my god! Can choose. It's a moose. Yeah. All right. My Maybe dad could... is gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's his favorite animal. Oh. <laughs> okay, Eliza, tell us a little bit about your process. Well, I mean, first I got the stuff and I turned it inside out and then stuffed it. And then I was trying to attach the head with um, with embroidery thread, but my the needle I had wasn't big enough so I used wire instead and that worked and then I cut slits for the wings and the tail and then I added glitter glue and marker for the eyes and the nose. Is this something you'd suggest to other kids? Definitely. Hey Joy, how did it go? Tell us a little bit about your process. I think it went pretty well. I fitted the body over the arms and stuffed it like a lot and sewed the back. You can't see it now because of the feather. And uh, I attached the head with some difficulty. And I added a little heart here with a little face. And I uh, added, I originally had three feathers, but they fell out because they weren't very secure. But I, had, I still have this one. If you had more time, how would you add the three feathers? Uh, probably add more um, secureness with this extra fabric and not just stick them in little holes. Did you learn anything in this process? Actually, I actually forgot something instead of in learning instead of learning something. I forgot how to knot correctly, <laughs> so I had to like knot a hard way the whole time. Is this a type of project you'd try again? Probably if I had if I didn't have to turn inside out and I had. Uh, easier time frame. Is there anything else you want to share with the audience? <laughs> Isn't that so nice? They let me keep their mini monsters for a little while. They're so cute. I'm just not sure where I should put them. Maybe I could put them... Oh, I know where I can put them. I'll put them right here. <sighs> I gotta go get my tool chest and put that away. Hey, stop moving the bucket. I'm not moving the bucket. Yes, you are. No, I'm really not moving the bucket. If you're not moving the bucket, and I'm not moving the bucket, you know what that means? It means there's something in the bucket. What's that sound? I think we should run away. You do? Who's there? I do. Are you with me? I am with you. I'm scared. Who's out there? Who knew Minnie Monsters could be scared? What's the big deal? Everybody knows spiders spin silk. Some use it to weave webs. I just happen to use it to knit sweaters. Oh my goodness, I always forget to return my toolbox. I do it every week. <sighs> hey, where'd the mini monsters go? Do you guys know what happened to them? And what in the world is this? Oh my gosh, it looks like a silky sweater. Wow, oh my goodness. It's on me. 
doing now? Oh, it feels so silky and wow, it feels so strong. Adorable. Tell us that time again, you guys. Stay spontaneous, stay creative, and I'll see you next time on Spontaneous Creations. Oh, hey, I don't know how it got here, but I am keeping it.